Hey everybody, this is Leo Adams with Skylink. Thanks so much for joining today. I'm excited to talk with you guys about using Litchi for panorama missions. So to give you guys some background, I've been a pilot for over three years now, and my company Skylink, we work with pilots all across the country um, and deploy pilots for construction work, mapping, inspections, even some real estate work. Um, so you know, when we work with new pilots, I always recommend Litchi. Um, it's just easy to use. You get consistent quality, um, you know, footage um, and data. So um, with that said, let's jump in. Let's start talking about using Litchi. So Litchi is compatible with the DJI Mavic, both the original and the two and, and all those models. It's compatible with the Phantom 3 and 4 and those different models, the standard advanced pro version 2. Um, it's also compatible with Inspire 1 and 2 and even the DJI Spark. So pretty much most DJI uh, drones are uh, compatible with Litchi here. Now once you get inside Litchi, uh, make sure you enter the panorama mode by pressing the flight mode icon at the top left of the Litchi screen. Select panorama, tap panorama settings button to go ahead and fill out those settings. Um, I recommend a 360 degree pano. Um, columns and rows are essentially going to determine how much overlap you get in your panoramas. Um, normally I recommend going with eight columns and four rows. Um, that way you kind of have a, a good uh, overlap of the you know, horizon and, and some of the sky in, in, the, image, in the panorama as well. Um, and the height of the panorama in degrees, um, essentially what that means is the height will be centered on the gimbal's pitch when starting the panorama. Um, so if the nadir setting is set to one or more, the height of the panorama will be clamped to the bottom of the panorama. Um, for example, you know, with height set to 40 degrees and nadir set to zero, the panorama will be shot from minus 20 degrees to plus 20 degrees, you know, assuming the gimbal is at, you know, zero degrees at the beginning of the panorama. And here's where you can set a delay before each photo. Normally you just keep it at zero and it makes the panorama go by faster. Um, and you can also save the panorama to your panorama database. So outside of the actual flight settings in Litchi, you can look at the camera settings here, exposure, video, white balance, all that good stuff. This is where you do it right under the camera icon. I recommend going with auto settings, but you can do manual if that's what you prefer, depending on the feet, the, you know, what's going on in your environment when you're shooting. Just note that you have to have your aircraft in the air to be able to start the panorama mission. Once you have your settings ready, fly the aircraft to the location that you want to take the panorama and and then press the start button at the bottom of the setting screen to initiate um, shooting. Now that you have your preset saved on your Litchi app, you can use the auto pano feature to automatically capture panos when flying with Litchi. Um, you know, you can you know, take as many panos as you want while you're up there and you can use the settings that you have saved. All right, just gonna speed through the image capture here, but you'll notice that 100 degrees for the height setting, we're capturing some good sky in this image. Um, and then the eight rows, four columns are giving us some good overlap. And once it finishes the images, it'll save to your Pano database on the left, which you can access there. We'll cover processing panorama images, what software is, how to share it, um, and all that good stuff in a future video. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys are not already signed up on Skylink, I highly recommend it. Uh, we're always looking to partner with quality, you know, professional safety-oriented pilots. Um, so if you watch to the end, I assume that's you. And if you are, please check us out. You can look at the description for the link below or you can go to www.skylink.org. Um, looking forward to connecting with you guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.